of the best new AI tools of the year, like AI that generates as you draw, AI that makes any image come to life, and even AI that turns your voice into a musical instrument. It's mind-blowing what you can do with all this new AI, so let me blow your mind. So straight off the bat, you can use all these AI tools on a phone, a computer, or even a tablet. So just pick one, and for the first AI tool, head on over to leonardo.ai. Once inside the website, it's super easy to start using just by tapping on launch app. And on the left hand side, they have this new real time canvas tool. Basically how it works is the box on the left is a canvas where you can draw what you'd like the AI to generate. And don't worry, your artwork can be pretty bad. But here's where it gets mind blowing because now I can type in what I'd like to see. And as I type, the AI will generate the artwork straight away, which is crazy. Then you can even pick the exact art style you'd like it in, whether that's cinematic, photographic, fantasy art, a sketch or dynamic art. There are so many different options to choose from. Then there's even this instant refine option, which once you press it, makes your artwork look 10 times better. But what is even crazier about Leonardo is under image generation, if you go ahead and type in the prompt box to generate an image, like a portrait of a metal robot in the Victorian era wearing a crown and trees in the background. Not only will it generate some incredible options, but once you hover over it, you'll see this new option to generate motion video. You can adjust the strength of how much motion you'd like to see in the video, and once you're happy, just click generate. And in a couple of seconds, it produces this incredible moving AI generation that looks so realistic and is pretty high quality. This is just so much fun and you can get stuck in it for hours. So imagine you had a paintbrush that could magically make pictures come alive. Well, you can actually do that using this AI tool called runwayml.com, which I have actually shown before, but it's gotten some cool new features. So once you've logged in using your Google account, if you select this text to video option, you'll find this brand new tool called Motion Brush. All you gotta do is drag and drop in any photo or picture you have, like I got this picture of a bird. Then what you do is paint over the areas you'd like to bring to life. So I wanted the entire bird to move, so I painted over the whole thing, but you could do the background instead if you wanted. Now all you do is actually adjust the motion by using these sliders. You can move them left or right, up and down, and even zoom in and out. But once you're all done, just click save, then click generate, and in a few minutes, your photo will literally come to life, which is just so freaking cool. And this works on pretty much any picture. Just use the brush on whatever it is you'd like to animate and let the AI do its magic. I also noticed this works really well with elements like fire and water. It looks incredible with animals and really understands their movement. Plus, you can even use selfies, which is just crazy to me, and almost any landscape looks incredible. So basically, just go mad and see how far you can push it. So this next app is something totally new to the AI world. It's called Hey Gen, and it's been blowing people's mind. It's actually totally free to try out, and all you gotta do is log in again using your Google account, then head over to the video translate section over here. Now you just gotta take a video of yourself talking. It can be around 30 seconds, or if you want, you can make it even longer. But then it's time to take that video and drag and drop it into this upload box. Then what you can do is from this list of languages, you can choose something Thing like French, for example, and if you click on translate, it'll then take that video and automatically translate it for you. Et pas seulement ça, cela fera même en sorte que cela ressemble à vous et changera vos mouvements de lèvres de manière à ce que cela ressemble à ce que vous dites. And because it has over 29 different languages, including all the popular ones, you can translate any language into any other language, like English. Oh, if you want, you can also speak in Spanish or Hindi. Bhi. I mean, this opens up so many possibilities from people all over the world to better understand each other. But also, just imagine that one day this gets so good that people talking to you will instantly be translated through your glasses. That would be insane. 
Okay, so this next AI tool is one of the coolest things I have ever seen, and it's called musicfy.lol. And trust me, the LOL must stand for laugh out loud because of what you do using this tool. Once you've loaded it up, click on get started, and in the corner over here, just make sure you log in using your Google account. And don't worry, it's totally free to use. Then once you've logged in, all you gotta do is change to instrumentals, and over here, select the instrument you'd like to use, like electric guitar. And then this is where things get really funny. You'll have to press record and please don't laugh, but then you'll need to literally make a sound like a guitar, something like this. Then once you're done, just click remix and the AI will turn your voice into something like this. Which sounds so cool, and you can also add some rhythm guitar. Or throw in a little bass. And even add some harmony guitar chords. And when you're all done and add that together, you get this. Which I mean, all this without any instruments, just AI and your voice. But it gets even better than this. So AI voices have been around for a while now, but Eleven Labs has come up with something that is totally changing the AI voice game. Just sign into it using your Google account, and again, this one is free to start using. And once you're in, you'll see this brand new speech-to-speech -speech option. Once you've selected it, you can then pick from one of Eleven Labs' pre-made voices, like Giovanni, for example. Then what you do once you've picked a voice is click on this record button and basically say whatever it is you'd like into the microphone using a expression, and when you're done recording, just click on generate, the AI will then take your voice and in just a few seconds, transform it into the voice that you picked. So if you wanted to, <coughs> you could sound like a distinguished gentleman, or like an animated character with a bit of a squeaky voice, or like someone who whispers because they're afraid of the shouting. And because you can also train Eleven Labs voices to sound like any other character you'd like, your options are pretty much limitless. Like one day, just imagine you can upgrade your voice to a totally different one with just the click of a button. I mean, talk about crazy stuff. Now, this next AI tool is absolutely hilarious, and within Chrome, all you gotta search for is missgif.app. Once you're in the site, as you scroll down, you'll see a list of super popular GIFs. Or if you don't like any of the options, you can also search for your own one, like Black Widow, for example, which of course will bring up a whole bunch of different options, but once you've found the GIF you like, just hit on the Browse button under it, and here, look for a photo of yourself, or better yet, choose one of a friend, and once you've found it, tap on Let's Face Swap, and then check this out. After a few seconds, the AI will generate this hilarious face swap GIF, which, let's not lie, does such a damn good job at making it look real. And the crazy thing is, is that all all of this is absolutely free. Once you've signed in, you pretty much get unlimited generations, which is honestly kind of perfect for sending to your friends as a joke. I guarantee if you send them a face swap GIF of yourself, you'll get a pretty crazy response. So by now, we should all know about ChatGPT and how it kickstarted the AI revolution. But it's had a massive update where you can now make your own AI with it, specifically an entire AI clone of yourself. To do this, you'll need to go inside the new Explore section where right at the top over here, you'll see this Create a GPT option. Once you click on it, a new window will open and this is where all the magic happens. You'll see that you have two text boxes on either side of the screen and the text box on the left is where you create your AI by giving it parameters that teach it what you'd like it to do. And the text box to the right is where you can now literally start testing the AI as you create it. So what I decided to do was actually make an AI clone of myself by giving it a picture of how I look, calling it Hales, teaching it how I write and talk, what music I like to listen to, what my job is, and all that jazz. And now I can use this AI clone to do pretty much anything for me. 
like answer my emails. All I gotta do is just copy and paste an email and in just a few seconds she'll whip up a response to it based on how I would reply. So not only can you use this for creating like a second brain but there are so many other unlimited options you can do with this and I just love how it even signs off like me. But what's literally mind-blowing about this is that you can keep teaching it more and more so that it makes a better clone which is so scary but also kind of cool. So AI clones of yourself are definitely cool, but if you head on over to roomai.com, with this tool, you can actually use AI to redecorate your entire house. To start using it, all you gotta do is log in using your Google account, and once you're in, it'll take you to this page where instead of generating a new AI room, just select restyle. Now, using this upload box over here, you can either select a picture from your gallery or actually take a picture of your lounge, kitchen, bathroom. And once you've uploaded your room, you can then scroll down to styles and pick exactly what design style you'd like. You have a whole bunch of different ones to choose from, like rustic or Victorian, even psychedelic or post-apocalyptic to see how your room would look like if it was completely run down. But then once you've chosen a style, you can then also choose a color palette for your redesign. And if you scroll down a bit more, you'll see a few other options you can play around with, but then just click on the restyle image button and in just a few seconds, it'll completely transform your room based on the different styles and colors you chose. It'll change the paint color of your walls, the design, colors, furniture, decor, and it's just such a cool way to get ideas on how to style your space. Now, this AI tool is called mylens.ai, and it combines AI and history to make a really sick AI tool. It's super simple to use. All you gotta do is ask it for the history of anything, like YouTube, for example, then just click on the create timeline button and it'll start creating a timeline for you of YouTube's entire history and pretty much everything that happened to make it what it is today. You can do this with just about anything like Twitter, for example, Samsung or Apple, and it'll always narrow down the most important historical points for you. And if you ever wanted to save these timelines, you can just click on this download button over here, which honestly is just so nifty. And if you're wondering about how accurate it is, well, I asked it to give me a timeline of the Hales World YouTube channel, and somehow it did actually manage to do a pretty accurate job. And safe to say, I was impressed. Now onto what's possibly the coolest AI tool I've used in a while. It's totally free and again, you can use this on clipdrop.co's website, which I've talked about before, but you'll find something brand new in it called Swap. How it works is you just need to drag and drop any image into this box, like the Mona Lisa, for example. Then Clipdrop's AI will detect any faces in the picture, like Mona Lisa's face. But then to replace it, just click on the blue circle and go ahead and select a picture of yourself, or even better, you could use a picture of a friend. The Clipdrop AI will then quickly learn your face and your expression, while also learning the style and design of the main picture's face. And in a few seconds, it'll combine both perfectly to replace the face in the picture with your own. This literally blew my mind with just how well it worked and I tested it on a couple of different things like paintings and a dollar bill and it did such a good job every single time. You can also use these arrows over here to quickly generate a few different options of how your face looks, which is also really handy and can give you a completely different result every time. Honestly, it's gonna be an insane year for AI. There are so many new AI tools being released, so make sure you stick around for those, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles!